Welcome. Hmm. So, this is what you're signing up for. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Ow. So, I'm just gonna show you guys how I get ready. This is just like my everyday thing. Um, no, I don't do, I don't do that every day. I was just feeling, um, funky, you know? So, I just pop that on a, in my T-zone area, and here we are. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I have a mirror here, so sorry, I keep looking. I'm just gonna show you my everyday makeup. This is just super easy, super quick. Um, I think anybody could do this. I like a very natural, glowy face, and I really do the bare minimum. I hate feeling like I have stuff on, so let's do it. My skin is super dry, so lately I've just been using this Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask like as my moisturizer. I won't put too much, like really that much. I just put a little bit on basically as a moisturizer. I just became obsessed with sunscreen like this summer, so I've... Uh, it was hair <laughs> I really like this super goop glow screen. It's so nice. Yes, you should wear sunscreen all year round, okay? It is so good for your skin. And if this one doesn't make you look like you have like sunscreen on, like you don't look white. And it makes you really glowy, see? Stunning. For anyone out there, what's happening here? For anyone out there that was thinking about getting the Summer Fridays lip balm, this is your sign. It's not even a sign, this is me telling you to go get it because it is truly the best thing. Oh my God. Does it not look like the most hydrating thing you've ever put on? Cause it is. And it smells like vanilla. I really want to lick it, but I'm not because that's disgusting. I'm actually gonna change because I definitely see me getting foundation all over this white. I actually just took off my shirt. So I'm in my sports bra. But for um, foundation, I really like light things on my face like i don't really like full coverage so i've been using this kosas tinted face oil it's so good oh my god it's so good you have to really shake it because it's literally a, an oil i'm in the shade 3.5 i think right now usually i have cell tanner on oh my god it's so pale so i just put that on the back of my hand i actually never do that i don't know why i just did that i usually just go right in on my face but Okay, whatever. Put it all over. Brush was literally $3 and it's so good. And there's glue on it, but it's really good. It's a nice little buffing brush. It's like perfect for um, foundation. I usually don't bring it down my neck, but I'm five different colors right now. So it's kind of necessary for me. Then keeping in the Kosas theme, I also really love their concealer. I'm in the shade three. So I'm just gonna pop it in these spots. Also not good at explaining things, so just watch. I'm gonna blend it with this Morphe brush. Most of the time I lean towards brushes for some reason. I do love Beauty Blender, don't get me wrong, but I feel like sometimes it like just takes off all product. For bronzer, I'm literally obsessed with this Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. I like to just put this my cheekbones, forehead, wherever I want to be a little bronzed up. Well, I'm just gonna take this Moda, 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 Moda Pro brush. It's a little sculpting brush. I'm just gonna blend this out. This bronzer is literally, I could really go off about milk. If you know me, you know I'm literally obsessed with milk makeup. Once you blend it out, it really just like melts into your skin and it's so easy to blend. In the summer, it's literally all I wear, like just milk makeup, like full face milk makeup in the summer. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of blend that all together because it's looking a little nuts right now. Sure, we don't want no harsh lines. I feel like the cold weather like takes my makeup off. Anybody else? Am I the only one who feels this way? Or am I a weirdo? I'm probably a weirdo, but... I've been obsessed with this. 
It is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Glow. It's another cream blush. I love cream. I love cream blushes. I think they're just like incredible. I was never into creams, but I'm just I'm just in love. This isn't the shade Till I'll talk by the way, so I'm just gonna put this basically like on top of my bronzer. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. Look at this. You see this? I don't even have highlighter on yet. It's so good. Look at this. Oh, I'm glowing. I like to bring it on my temples a little bit, on my nose just a little. I feel like it all just kind of blends together better. Chin a little. Now I'm using my Milk Makeup a Blur and Set Matte Loose Powder like this. I'm just gonna set my T zone. I crease so much right here. Like, no matter what I do, I always crease. I could bake this area for f ever and I will still crease. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. Lately, I've been feeling like a little extra coverage, so I really like the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in the shade Medium Plus. And I'm gonna take just a big fluffy brush, and I like this because it doesn't take my glow away. Um, it kind of just sets me like a little more. So I'm just gonna set this literally over my whole face, like even the bronzer and the blush. See, it doesn't like take my glow away, which is amazing. I'm literally putting it all over. Mm. I'm just gonna brush my brows up because it's honestly just driving me crazy that they look so crazy. Eyebrows are actually my favorite thing in the entire world. I've put a lot of um, effort into growing my eyebrows. In February, when I got them done, right before my birthday, they decided, oh, we're gonna make your eyebrows this thin. I'm not kidding. Dramatic. Whatever. It was not good, so I decided, we're gonna use this quarantine, we're gonna grow that shit out. And guess what I did? I grew it out. Look at that. Wow. Next, I'm gonna take a powdered bronzer. This is by Anastasia. With a Sephora brush. And I'm gonna just put this on top of my cream bronzer. Not too much, honestly. I just want it to set a little more. I'll do this on days that I know I need to have my makeup on like all day. If it's kind of like I'm running out but don't want to look like a psycho, I'll probably skip half these steps, honestly. And I'll just use all my cream products plus the Kosas tinted face oil and mascara, brows, bam, out the door. Lately, I've been mixing these two blushes this one is by The Balm. It's in the shade Cabana Boy. Very pinky. And then this one is a MAC blush. It's uh, Trace Gold. It's very old, so I couldn't see the name. But that one's like very bronzy. So those two mixed together, amazing. Just taking a real technique. I can't speak. A real techniques brush. And I'm gonna mix the two. I like to just like tap, tap, tap in. <laughs> Basically the same spot. I put the cream a little on my apples, my nose, forehead, you know, the same spot. Time for brows. I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Let me zoom you in a sec. Oh, this is scary. Okay. Oh, this posture. Anybody else have tech neck? Personally like my brows brushed up better. Hello? It sounded like someone was coming. And I'm just gonna fill in like the sparse areas, so a little under here. I do literally the bare minimum in the front because I hate that like boxy look. I just want it to look like my eyebrow. All this hair in the front is like new, so you could literally tell how much thicker it is like right here compared to like right next to it and sometimes i like to go like this and you can really see on top like where you need to fill in very very little i'm gonna do the other eyebrow and i'll be right back so now that my brows are all filled in i'm gonna take the anastasia brow gel and i'm going to brush them up 
also like to take my bronzer and like put it in my crease. No particular way, I kind of just slap this on there. Just warms me up a little bit, gives my eye a little more definition. I'm using the same Anastasia bronzer as I used on my face. If I'm feeling really crazy, you know what? I am feeling really crazy. I'm gonna take my blush, both blushes I used, with another brush from the cheap store. I'm gonna mix the two blushes and put them on my eyelid. It's a really easy way to make it look like you have like eyeshadow on. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Great job. I'm gonna take this angled brush with the bronzy blush that I have, MAC Trace Gold, and I'm gonna, I can't see, put it on my lash line. Just to give me a little thumb thumb. Just makes everything look more pulled together, you know? Now for mascara, I usually get a lash lift, but after, oh, I just pinched my eye, be careful. Curl your lashes before your mascara, not after. It can make the mascara look clumpy, like if you curl them after. I'm gonna spray my face with setting spray first. This one's by Scandinavia. I swear by this, it's so good, oh my god. The mascara I'm using is Lancome, I don't know how to say this, Monsieur. <laughs> it's the pink one, okay? It's really good. But I feel like there's a lot of product on it, so I like to just like do this and like wipe it off because it could tend to look scary. You know, I will never not know how to get it, how to not get it on my eyelid. Anyone know how? Because I don't know how to do it. My lips look so scary. There we go. This product, oh, it's so good. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is in the shade Spotlight. So it's a liquid um, highlighter and it's this dome applicator. And I just like to put it, ready? I don't know if you're ready. Oh my God. No, I don't leave it like that, come on. I'll put it over here on the top of my cheekbones. Right on the tip of my nose I just put it. Whoa, that was a lot, oh my God. I'm gonna take this brush, it's a Morphe brush. It's like a stippling brush, brush. I really can't speak, it's so bad. It's a little stipple. And I'm just gonna blend it in. Oh my God, look at it, look at it. Now I'm gonna blend it with my finger too. Just to really get that in there. Oh my, no, come on. I literally can't. I'm gonna take that same brush I used for my blush and I'm just gonna like tap over it a little bit just so it blends nicely. For lips, I've been really loving this Charlotte Tilbury. Pillow Talk, it is a true iconic product. I love how I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this. And I'm also gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. A little, not too much, honestly. I really like using lip plumpers. Some people don't like the way it feels. I actually really like the way that it feels. I don't know. So I'm just gonna put this over. So I'm gonna do something with this hair really quick and be right back. So here we are. Here's my everyday makeup. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you come back. If you did like it, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll be back. Let me know what you wanna see. Follow me on all my social medias. I have three Instagrams, yes. That's two, three. I have three Instagrams. Follow me on all my Instagrams, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.